ask that you will graciously give us room to speak our truth. Interfaith leaders from all over the city called the faithful and the hopeful to Bishop Square Park to remember George Floyd's life and reflect. My hope is that we will not have those kinds of atrocious acts that jar your spirit, that create confusion and causes one to question their own humanity. Speakers were called to share how they were affected by Floyd's killing and the year that has followed. As Dr. King prayed, justice will well up like water, righteousness like an ever flowing stream. I think we have a very long way to go. I feel like we haven't come far at all. There's more names being added to the list. Um, I'm here because I'm a mother of an African-American son. I feel like there's strength in numbers and I need to just stand in solidarity with my community. That's why I'm here today is to stand together with everybody to say, you know, it's, it's not going to work. It, it, this, we need change. But I, I don't think we've made anywhere near the progress that we need to. And many of the prayers focused on progress, the need for change and for hope. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening sky. We can come in unity to say that this is a place where we need to agree as people of God living in this country. So I think that's, that's why it's important we're here all together as an interfaith presence. We need to do a lot in order to help people to, to see that it will benefit us all. You know, if we come together and work together for the good of all, it will benefit us all. And so the Interfaith Coalition holds, holds community gatherings throughout the year. They're held on the second or fourth Tuesday of each month. Reporting live in North Baltimore tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.